so now we are going to look at hyperkalemia its causes its effects and ecg changes and finally its management so hyperkalemia occurs when there is increased potassium concentration or there is efflux of potassium from the cell especially in insulin deficiency and or there may be tissue breakdown like crush injury and hemolysis can result in hyperkalemia and in acidotic condition or in addition disease when aldosterone is decreased hyponatremia results into the increased concentration of potassium results into the hyperkalemia pseudo hyperkalemia like lies the sample so effects will be muscle weakness flaccid paralysis bradycardia heart block and ss toll will be there ecg shows tall t wave which is high yield small p wave broad qrs prolonged prs PR uh, uh, interval and arrhythmias will be there. So management is calcium gluconate should be given or insulin infusion should be given which results into the entry of potassium inside of the cell and lead to normal condition or there may be uh, if it is very severe then hemodialysis should be followed in hyperkalemic condition.